All right, guys, so this is part four of your Microsoft Word uh, 2019 practice uh, test review, and we're in project four. It's called SA, and uh, this is number 29 on our review questions. All right, it says change the line spacing of the entire document to double spaced. All right, so click in your document somewhere, and on your keyboard, hold down Control and hit the A key to select everything in your entire document. And then under line spacing here under the Home tab, you're going to say 2.0. All right, and that's it for that one. Number 30 says change the format of the text environmental school project in the first paragraph to strong. All right, so right here, see where it says environmental school project? It says change the text environmental school project to strong. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the text here and I'm gonna go ahead and get the quotation marks And under the Home tab, yeah, I'm going to grab the quote. That's what I'm kind of debating if I get the quotation marks or not. Um, under the Home tab, I'm going to find a style here called Strong right here. All right, and that's what it kind of looks like right there. <clears throat> Number 31, insert a header with a built-in header type uh, banded that will not be displayed on the first page. All right, so under the Insert tab, we're going to see a header footer group over here. And uh, under header footer group, we're going to insert our header. It's going to be a banded header, which is this one. Oh, wrong one. Let me go back in and say insert header footer. This one right here is the one I want. Banded header. Okay. Um, that will not be displayed on the first page. So we're going to say different first page. All right. Um, and then unclick. Oh yeah. See where it says different um, odd and even pages? Go ahead and unclick that. If it doesn't disappear on the first page, that's probably why, because you have that checked right there. Um, and that's it. Go ahead and close out your header and footer tools. Scroll down to page two, and you'll just notice that we do have a, a footer or a, a header on page two. All right. Uh, number 32, under the heading uh, four, the challenges for VIP kids include the bolded text, how can the teacher adapt, and how can the platform help students in the numbered list. Continue the existing number sequence. All right, so under the heading for uh, the challenges for VIP kids. So let's go ahead and try to find that. Two, three, right here. Under the heading the challenges for VIP kids. I don't see four. The challenges to VIP kid, for VIP kids. All right, but here's the heading. Um, include the bolded text. How can the teacher adapt into the numbered list? Oh, yeah, look down here. Okay, so we already have a numbered list right here. So check this out. How can the teacher adapt right here? And then how can the platform help students with learning disabilities? So we want to include these into the numbered list. So I'm going to help go ahead and hold control on my keyboard and select both of these sentences. I'm going to add them to my numbered list just by hitting numbering here. And then I'm just going to make sure that I have uh, continued my numbering. Right click on the numbering and say continue numbering. Okay, so I don't really have to because it. Uh, I don't really have to right click and say continue numbering, but let's just talk about numbered list for a second. If I just click on this three and right click on it, you're going to see a couple of um, things that I can do with numbered list. One of them I could just restart my list here at number one if I wanted to, or I could uh, set the numbering value to go to like 100 if I wanted to, or I could just say continue numbering. So if I inserted this numbered list and I had a number one there, I would right click on it and say continue numbering for it to go to three, four, five, six, and all that good stuff. All right. Change the orientation of only page three to landscape. All right. So this is a trick question because um, on page three, we have something called, and I have to kind of move my cursor here a little bit. We have something called a page break. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my show hide button in order to try to find this thing on page three. All right. Well, 
All right, so that was a little error. I changed the, I updated the page number on the question sheet. So when you guys see this, <clears throat> it's going to say update the page, update page six uh, to landscape orientation. And here's why it has to be page six. And I put it in there probably because I uh, kind of messed it up after the line spacing. But let's talk about these things called section breaks. All right, and what it does is it basically um, gives my page a um, barrier or like a border. And it says whatever happens before or after that as far as formatting goes is not going to affect the pages above that break or below that break. So if I click in the page below my section break here, which is my page six, all right, I can actually go to the orientation page and change only page six to landscape orientation. Now, because page six is full of information, it also gave me an extra page. So now I have a total of page seven here. But notice how the other pages above my section break here did not change. All right. So here's another good example of how these breaks actually work. Let's go ahead and use this break here um, on page six or on page five, it looks like on page five. And let's go ahead and change only page five to um, landscape orientation instead of portrait. In order to do that, what we need to do here is put in a new break right at the end of page four. So I'm going to go to breaks and I'm going to say continuous section break. And notice how I get this little line right here. Um, the trick to breaks is that under the home tab, you have this little button called show hide. If that's not on, you're not going to see your breaks. They are invisible on your page. So if you ever have a question with breaks, the first thing I do is go to the home tab and turn on show hide. All right, now I can click in the middle of my page anywhere in between the two breaks and I can go to the orientation or the design page, uh, sorry, the layout page and I can go to orientation and I can go ahead and change it to landscape and it's only going to affect that one page. It's not going to affect the pages below it or above it. All right, because I put in section breaks that does not, that keeps the formatting uh, from the sections below it and above it from being affected, all right? So that's a really good um, example of how breaks actually work, all right? So let me go ahead and click back here and go ahead and change my uh, last page, <clears throat> just like yours probably is right now, to landscape orientation. All right. Um, apply a centered style set to the document. All right, so control A to select everything. And under the design tab, you're going to see that we have style sets. All right. Um, not the draw tab, which is a new a new tab. If you didn't notice that, that's a new tab. I haven't really played around with that a whole lot, to be very honest. Um, under the design tab, you're going to see uh, do under document formatting that we have a style set in here called centered. And they're in alphabetical order. Casual centered right there. Okay, and that's that whole question. Accept all tracked insertions and deletions. Reject all formatting changes. All right, so we're going to go to the review tab, and under um, tracking, you're going to see accept and reject. All right, so under the reviewing pane, under tracking, we're going to say accept and move to next. <clears throat> there aren't any tracked. Oh, here. Let me turn on tracked changes in the document. Weird. Maybe I have to deselect it. Huh. Oh well. Okay. There's lots of little errors in this part of the test review, but you know, I guess that goes to with anything that you have literally just written. So I'm gonna I can just, just roll with the punches here. So you'll see here that I just kind of edited this document and put in some track changes. Track changes are literally like if your teacher goes through and like um, make makes any corrections, you're going to see that you have these little lines on the side of your paper here. And that's called tracked changes. All right. And you can kind of see what the teacher did. <clears throat> that way you can go through and either accept or reject the changes made to your document. All right. And if you go to the reviewing pane, you're going to see that basically I deleted two things. All right. I can click on these things here and I can either say accept or reject. So I'm going to say accept and move to the next and notice how that goes away. And I'm going to say accept and move to the next 
and I'm going to say OK. And then my reviewing pane goes away because I have nothing else to actually review for this document. So that's, I guess I'm going to have to update that real quick. Copy the formatting of the first paragraph and apply it to the second paragraph. This is a really good little trick. I'm going to go to the Home tab and turn off my Show Hide just because I don't like seeing all the formatting options. So see the formatting of this paragraph right here and how it's kind of like, um, let's see, it's Calibri body 10 and a half. Oh, and so is this here. This is another error. Boom. Okay, I didn't save it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. You won't have to do this, but I'm just going to keep recording here. And I'm going to change it to like uh, Algerian. All right, which is the worst font. Uh, so here's the formatting. What this is is called Format Painter. All right, so click anywhere in the paragraph that you want to copy. Go to Format Painter and uh, click it. If you want to keep it on, you can double click it. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint over <clears throat> the second paragraph. And that's where the second paragraph ends, right there. Okay, and now I've applied the formatting from the first paragraph to the second paragraph. All right, and that's it for part two of this. Uh, that was uh, probably a little rougher than most of them. Let's hope the rest of them are a little more 